Hey guys, it's Chris and Andrew here from uh, Expedition STEM. We are at the Intel uh, International Science and Engineering Fair. This has been outstanding day one. We've seen yep. uh, anything from robotics to uh, autism um, to all sorts of different uh, people looking at breast cancer and cancer detection. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of kids, much, much, much smarter than us, doing just groundbreaking uh, work. What were some of the things that struck you today? I guess I guess it was you know sort of what you just said is the is the kids that are you know 15 through 17 that are like way smarter than us uh, doing these projects here. You know we have kids from all around the world, 77 countries today, yep. and there are you know multiple people from you know all over the world, and just the the vast amount of you know knowledge or whatever that's out there right now and. The projects here, you know, the the people that are here today or here this whole week, they're the best of the best mm -hmm. from from their countries. And you know, for the United States, it's the best from the states and the regions in the state. So we have a tremendous amount of brain power here today, and the future of the world. Yeah, uh, these these people are going to change the world. So these, that's amazing. These these are the smartest um, high schoolers I think you can find on the planet. I mean, we've got kids from. Brazil, uh, Kurdistan, Chile, um, we, we spoke with a bunch of uh, New Yorkers and everybody here across the United States, but everybody's got a unique perspective in the creativity of some of the applications. I mean, being able to come up with a, a cream based upon organic products for burn victims or using a simple smartphone to come up with uh, a seismic de detection and, and uh, alert system uh, in Chile so that people can uh, get to shelter and you can let people know if you need help. Um, like that's, those are amazing applications of modern technology uh, that are being thought of by 14, 15, 16, you know, 17 year olds. But why, why, why couldn't we do that, man? We'd be making some money. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> it's never too late, right? Like that's the whole thing about you know STEM is you can get into it at any point in your yeah. in your life. So if you're interested in science, you know, especially if you're in middle school or high school, you know, get into these engineering fairs, get into these. If your city has a STEM school that you can do part-time, get into the STEM school. Do extracurricular activities. There are, not only are there students here, but there are exhibitors here. We just got back from the exhibitor floor, and they got the NSA, they got the CIA, they got, you know, a couple three-letter agencies. They have, you know, colleges that are looking for students. They got they, a guy with snakes. Yeah, they got snake <laughs> guy. Um, so, you know, they... And they're here to, you know, promote STEM as well, and and see what what students are out there. And yeah, and um, and of course, they're also looking at this as a recruiting grounds. I mean, right. they're looking for the best of the best for their respective agencies. They're looking for the best of the best for the companies. They want to recruit the people and and the technologists and the people who are in, inventing uh, the next wave of technology, so that they can be on the front lines of being competitive, uh, not only on on their their industry um, uh, capacity, but on a global scale. I mean, we're, we're, I mean, the smartest minds in the world have all come together. Um, even you, know, you look at some of the things that the kids are creating in the, uh, the grit of the, uh, what the quad, the quad, yeah, the Intel quad. Because over there they've got, you know, uh, circuitry boards and, you know, kids can like using just uh, uh, foil tape and, and some of the things like creating a circuitry board on the back of a piece of paper or um, making wearable watches um, with felt and usable technology that they have there. And they're just challenging the kids to come up with things and invent new ideas. I think that the theme uh, this year is think beyond. I mean, right. it's not, not think beyond, you know, uh, what your application could be, but think beyond regular uh, um, uh, expe ex expectations. Think beyond possibilities. Mm -hmm. Dare to dream. Right. Yeah, um, and you know, in the Intel Quad, they had sort of—it's kind of like a more of like a lounge or whatever for the students. But they had—it's kind of like a nerd lounge. Like yeah. they had, like you said, like they were making these like circuits and flying quadcopters and 
and, playing these like racing games and, 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 and there's like three kids in there still doing their biology homework while they're here at the <laughs> Intel Science Center. I mean like yeah. they are I mean they're dedicated to, to what they're doing you know that um, we got some interesting stats from um, a big thanks to uh, Sarah Wood and, um, at the society here um, she sent us so this year 1760 finalists Wow, that's 1760 the best and brightest brains 419 actually qualified to be here by winning another fair so that might have been their international fair uh, the New York or, or Florida State fairs uh, it could be anywhere around the country but they actually had to compete to qualify to come here um, I think we spoke to somebody earlier who was uh, uh, an alternate or runner-up or, or came in fourth at their fair but they're still competing here um, against the best and the brightest right. um, there's also um, of the 1760 over 850 women and 900 and, 900 and change uh, guys. I mean, that's that's a great balance. You know, 50 50, oh, near 50 50 balance of uh, competitors. Yeah, and uh, you know, sort of like right now, I think in the, in sort of career field wise, there's definitely a, a predominance of of males. But being here at the engineering fair, science and engineering fair, we've seen that that's probably not going to be for too long. Like, it was you know, there's like you said, it's almost 50 percent. Females, so it was great to see that. Like, yeah, looks like you know women are going uh, much more into the STEM fields than than previous generations. Yeah, and I'd say the majority of the pro projects that we stopped at uh, today, based upon not only just the title but the work that they were doing. I mean, the robotics project with the uh, uh, the woman uh, who was making the uh, microsurgical surgical. Uh, robots with uh, haptic feedback. I mean, right now robots don't have haptic feedback. And so right. for her to be able to say, hey, you know, for, for un unobtrusive um, microsurgeries that are being done with robotics, we need to be able to have something like that. Mm -hmm. um, that's definitely thinking outside of the box. I and mean, she's going to Harvard next year. I mean, total brainiac, but absolutely going to be able to save lives with something that she's created. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's kind of overwhelming. We, we knew it was going to be big or whatever, but you walk, the exhibit hall is just behind our camera and it's huge it's like the size of like a few football stadiums like it's yeah or uh fields yeah, yeah we, we, we we thought you know the four hours that we had today from 10 o'clock to two o'clock would be enough time to go through every section from animal sciences behavioral sciences um you know robotics and engineering and mathematics i think we only made it through a quarter yeah, if, the, that, yeah. <laughs> if that, yeah. I mean, we really had to pick and choose, and there are so many great ideas. I, I, I wish we could have had enough time to sit and talk to everybody, but this is just outstanding. I, I'm, I'm blown away by these kids. Yeah, it's hard to talk to 2,000 people, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but we will put links in the description below uh, for the ISEF website and everything like that, so you can go check out uh, the winners. Probably by the time you're seeing this, uh, we've already known the winner. Uh, we're going to be checking out the special award ceremony tonight. It's not the grand awards <coughs> ceremony. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, but tonight they're doing some special words, so we'll be covering that and, later. And by the way, so this isn't just a showcase of events. There are major prizes and, and money and scholarships that are on stake. It's estimated over $4 million of prizes that are given away. The top grand prize winner today is not only um, winning $75,000. I mean, that's that's a nice chunk of change. I could That could definitely pay off some student loans in the future or something that they might need but they also get um, many of them get to travel the world and compete in other international fairs many of them get to uh, have uh, essentially like speaker panels for them right. um, there are scholarships that are on the line here I mean yep. people MIT Harvard they all um, uh, West Virginia uh, ASU they all have uh, their recruiters here to talk to the kids and, and get them interested in, in going to their schools and research um, mm -hmm research grants that are also available yep. so there's a lot of things that are on the line um, best of luck to all the competitors we've got a lot more to see tomorrow we will uh, have the the grand prize unveiling on the, on the whole thing but uh, thank you to everybody that let us uh, stop and talk um, thank you to, to Intel and, and uh, ISEF for um, uh, inviting us here as yeah, well that's great so we got more coming up stay tuned mm -hmm.